all right welcome back to the channel i'm king of Baden. uh don't forget to like the video and all that stuff helps me grow the channel have we been here before i feel like well no actually we're just oops we're just close to where uh the files got lost from the first time we're gonna hit this real quick and see what's actually gonna do welcome back like the video subscribe all that stuff welcome back to jedi fallen order uh continue with the series where we left off at just made it into this uh crashed ship and that what what's the overcharge here This thing needs your overcharge. I okay, whatever. I'm gonna need that down here for now, but let's get it. I think I saw something. Gotta take him out first. Okay. Please let me block. Jeez. I'm getting jumped right now. Jeez. Let me get up. The only reason I didn't get hit by that dude, dude's tackles is because I was already being choke slammed. Oh my goodness. Two of these things is a whole different breed. Still got that nice smooth double kill at once. All right, let's see what these guys got. Oh, what we got right here. This motor should do the trick. How does it feel? I understand that he found a motor on this workbench, but it's still kind of weird that we just get it out of nowhere, or it feels like we got it out of nowhere. Um. Ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba 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 I don't think there's anything else left in here. Get the hell out of here then. We now climb back up these things. I'm pissed. Uh, we can now climb back up these things if BD wants to actually grab onto them. There we go. Uh, once again, BD, please. Just trying to go back up. And we charge this one. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing with those first two because he just didn't come over. Damn, that was pretty nice. I absolutely can and will. Kind of have to. Kind of the whole Jedi thing. Yeah whole jedi thing right now is like we gotta beat this shit out of all you clone troopers because first of all you betrayed us and vengeance really, really isn't supposed to be the jedi way but you know when you're the cause of most of our comrades death you kind of gotta go you know what i mean uh yeah. Okay, well, I apparently was on the same timing that that bot was on. I was just trying to break it before it could hit us, but we see what happened most of the time there. It looks like since there's a tomb guard in here, it looks like we're making our way back down in the same direction that are back down towards the tomb then basically. So it's kind of clear that the um Yeah, I broke your arm, bitch. No, it's uh I wonder how the blaster bolts from these clone troopers would do against the uh like visually like seeing him before myself how they would do against the uh fuck against the tomb guardians i think that's what they're called okay what's out here nothing right now it looks like okay just keep going then it's this one 
Is this a secret or? A worker left the tools in a hurry. They were anxious to locate relics, but also careless of the history buried here. All of the empire has been careless of that history though. Okay, we go this way. So Billy lets us get up here and there's a secret up there too. Okay, so let's see what's up here then. And I missed this in my original like first first playthrough, the one that I did by myself without recording. That's what I get for trying to skip a bunch of shit and it's only skipping like three seconds worth of Okay, that was just me being dumb, but I'm trying to skip three seconds worth of climbing on a wall. That's completely safe for us But it worked I should have swung that first time if I did it this on the first try it would have gone better I uh, don't okay. That's where the rope swing down is from the first area is this a shortcut of some sort? I'm actually confused. Let me go save it real quick before I start wandering, wandering off. Because otherwise, I'd have to start over from the last save point I got. Which I don't even know where it was at this point. Probably back in the last episode since these are back to back. Uh, I want to save those skill points. I don't really have anything else that I want right now. So I'm going to hold on to them. And see what this elevator leads to. I think it's that secret that... um, Or not that secret, but that elevator that... Could, Mm -mm. I was wrong already. That shit was above us, and we just went down. How predictable. Oh, yes. I know your name. Your past. And most importantly, about Cordova. Tell me, where did he hide the holocron? Outstanding. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought I was finding a secret or something. Completely forgot about this. I forgot in the middle of her combos. She'll, um. I don't have my other uh I will destroy you. You can't run forever. I think she's the one running, but I didn't get my other stem pack is what I was saying from before. I am just a kid essentially. Jeez, lady. If I give you a fight in a pad, I want to talk and shit. You swinging it there too, ho. Yeah, look at you. And you running all over the place. She the one who scared you. All over the place. Not quick enough. I get a sprint off. Which one? I gotta click a bunch of shit right now. To be honest, I don't like fighting her because she. It's it's annoying because she's always talking about how like oh you're not good enough you're not good enough but the way she fights is always running or like moving fast away now when she attacks I'm fine with it you know because I'm surprised she didn't tell you Sarah was never good at keeping secrets 
And do you know her so well, huh? Mm. <laughs> she was weak. Cracked in an Imperial torture chair. Surrendered the location of her naive Padawan. They would never have found me. If it wasn't for her, she betrayed me. you manipulate me so sure are you when faced with a choice to protect herself or her padawan she chose self-interest she'll sell you out too well i can handle myself <laughs> can you afford to take that chance your new master harbors great darkness the look on her face when she saw what they had done to me as i am now she turned Exposing her true nature. She used the dark side. She cut herself off from the Force. Oh? How long before she cracks and betrays you too? Is that who you want beside you when you find the Holocron? What would Jaro Tapal say? You have no right to mention his name. I wonder. What would he think if he could see his Padawan now? Skulking in the shadows with a betrayer. Granting her access to a legion of impressionable students. No. I won't let anyone touch them. I thought the same thing once. Mm. Okay, see, that goes into why I didn't trust... Uh... Fuck, I can't remember. Cordova, I guess. The the lady who's on the ship. Because I knew about that before I started recording the series. And it was... I mean, there's there's got to be a reason behind why you didn't use the Force. And Cal did have a legitimate reason of... He would lose control and he lost his memory of how to actually control it. Now, based on what she said, it's like... Essentially, she just stopped because she got interrogated and couldn't save people. Which would feel like more of a reason to continue into the Force rather than give it all up. I don't know where the fuck. Oh, never mind. It's like it's it's like you weren't strong enough in the force. You just gave it all up. That doesn't really make sense to me. It would be like more training, especially as a Jedi someone who's supposed to use the force and your knowledge to create a safer place. If you weren't good enough to create that safer place the first time, I would assume that your next step would be to continue to train so you can do it the next time rather than give it all up and try and find someone else that you're gonna train to do it when you yourself couldn't even do it so it's like the limitations of the trainer essentially so at a certain point well actually not even at a certain point pretty much at this point and when she met cal cal had already surpassed her in his abilities to use the force and she gave them all up different than the other two i don't know i don't like it um it's like when the uh the the student becomes the master that type of idea except for the fact that she was never really the master at least from cal's perspective I found it, but see her why didn't you tell me because she's a liar you how i rerouted communication the moment you tried to contact her slicing encrypted transmissions was always a pastime of hers she taught me one there's no technique Sir has that I haven't perfected. Sarah? Is that what her name was? I is it Sarah Cordova? I can't remember. I can't remember who's the who's the who was the Padawan and who was the Jedi. Uh at least not right now, because I'm terrible with names and also don't care that much. Damn. Now this one looks a little I thought I'd get to, to jump over one. Okay. Okay, I thought if you used the push on them they would stagger. But apparently not. Cool. Didn't really matter that much. I think this one's still just the tomb guardian like the other ones, but for some reason that one felt like it should have uh 
should have had a different setup. Okay, so now we're at this part. And what's over here? Hang on a second. Is there anything else back in this area? Oop. All right, let's get out of here then. Or right, let's keep moving then. Got there, bud. My friend, these devices appear to simulate this planet's gravitational pull. I can't help but see it as a motif. Kind of interesting that it's just magnets, but the way he described them made them sound like they were new and mysterious, or like an unseen ability, despite the fact that I do believe. Uh, Scouts located an artifact of interest at the rear of this tomb. Even now, I'm studying it. Learning. It seems Cordova was rather taken with these Zephyr. Perhaps enough to hide the holocron amongst their bones. Nah, Cordova's the dude that we're following. So, interesting that Cordova is like intrigued by these magnets despite ha like being a force user of himself, you know? can't block that it's kind of weird though that that one doesn't show up red considering it being something that's unblockable Get the fuck out of here you were just struggling to fight that big dude i kill him and then you think you can step to me no get out of here can you slice it a relic from the ancient zepho i sense great vanity and extravagance in this period of their history essentially it sounds like the renaissance age of extravagance whatever you want to call it still just sounds like the renaissance See if we can get through this area. Stay back. Stay back. Okay. And turn that back off. I kind of remember how to get through this area, so hopefully this one takes forever because most of now is just a puzzle. Okay, let's hit this checkpoint real quick and see where we're supposed to head to next. I still want to save my skill points because I know we get to do force ability soon, so that's why I'm saving it. Kind of just grabbed the edge. Didn't even need to jump off that last one. Let's see what's going on back in here. All right. Oops, hit the mic. I feel like that happens like once every other video or something like that. I don't know why I didn't let me grab it the first time though, because I swung it in the same manner. Tired of those shits, cause my soldiers breach this tomb every minute. Afraid to face me yourself? Had your droid not intervened, I would have killed you with ease. It's okay, buddy. Just ignore her. Uh, what was I was gonna say. Oh yeah, get these shits out of the way, cause last time or two times ago, can't remember. 
Ho was not, Ho didn't spawn out of like it was supposed to and then just hits me in the back of the head. Am I supposed to be able to do something here? I, I am supposed to be able to do something here, but it's not open right now. Wee. Well, that's on me. Uh, yeah, that one's. All right. Somehow I didn't die, but whatever. I do have to jump to my death to get out of this. Kind of stood off the wall there, but either way, I don't think I took that much damage. And we've made our way around that area. It's pretty much just like run and look at stuff. It's not that difficult overall. Uh, don't get stuck if on. Okay, cool. The artifact, the Empire would have missed if it weren't for your intervention on this backwater planet. Sure, it's yeah. the cost. I hear Project Augur came at a high price. Stormtroopers and workers. Expendable resources. You're a monster. I am one there. Okay, I can't really do anything there, so I guess we'll go back this way and see what happens. Although this is the way we came, isn't it? We didn't swing up onto this bridge. Yeah, so I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't launch the first time, because I tried it, went back and did it again. Let's see. Shortcut unlocked. Shortcut to where? Oh, okay. Cool. Now, let me make my way across this gap then. So we get into now. in his hiding shape. Ah, that's nice. On some act on actual purge trooper. Let me get the rest of these hoes out real quick. Okay, all right, we can get out of here now. I don't know how it was almost gonna push me off like that. Let's take him out. You're not gonna take shit out. Who's shooting me from across the way? I've taken the artifact back to my ship for analysis. Pity you couldn't make it in time. It doesn't matter what you feel, you'll never understand it. Yet you do? You'll find out soon enough. Yeah, he definitely won't. He barely understands his own connection to the Force. She does make a good point, but also he makes a good point of they really won't understand it either, considering their connection to the dark side is most likely going to block, block their uses of holocrons, considering there are four specific holocrons where the dark side has theirs and the light has theirs. Um, which one am I supposed to go around to get there? The, oh, okay, cool. I don't know why it has that bottom area. I guess if you uh, somehow managed to drop down too low from the first jump, that that second or like the extended bottom area will be it for you. wasn't really a difficult like walkthrough area. It was just more tedious than anything. Is this off? Okay, cool. Stop. I don't know why anyone would ever want to leave that on. Okay. Uh, is this the way we're supposed to go? It looks kind of like it. Yep. Yeah, okay. It's been a while since we have a save point too. Oh, 
called it out and here it is we gotta save this real quick and see what we can get into next let him get our health all the way back because it looks like it looks like there's a bunch of enemies ahead of us too they haven't seen us probably keep your guard i don't i don't know why i decided to jump off let me actually follow what looks like area with solid ground instead of just the air below us i don't know what i was thinking i'll be honest Why is it only staggering? I don't see why any of the <laughs> yeah, we finished it, all right. Oh shit. Well, I mean, that's kind of your job, though, isn't it? I'm not just wait for you to shoot that all out. Okay, here we go. I didn't know it actually dropped the stormtroopers' bodies with us, though. I never noticed that behind me before, so. Within me, it surrounds me. Just so, it connects you. There will be times when emotion, pain, or exhaustion trick you. You can feel cut off, isolated. This is an illusion. Your lightsaber lies there, out of reach, but you remain connected through the Force. Feel that energy around Weird you. Weird that he hung him upside down, though. I feel like the same, uh, same lesson couldn't have been taught with him, like, the right way up. Forces within you, around you, connecting you to your weapon. You must ignore all distractions. Theoretically, though, too, there could be, um, Jedi who specialize in blaster usage. Forces like, it's not a requirement access. for them to use the force is it yeah i think so or not the force but to use lightsabers is it more that they're the only ones like people who use the force are the only ones who can activate these crystals and really attune to them but it doesn't seem like that's the only way they can do stuff you know also a weird thing that happened the first time is i kept trying to jump to uh speed up how fast i would climb but if you jumped in not a spot that you needed to, it would make you fall off since this piece just moved forward from where it was before. Like that. Not part of your plan. Luckily, I always allow Now, this is what I was saving my force or my skill points for because I knew we were going to get a new force ability soon. And it's going to be the throw. Cal throws his lightsaber at an enemy. And that's going to give us more range. I talked about it too. I keep talking about my D&D &D stuff. But my character has an ability in one D&D &D campaign that I play where if he rages, he gets like one of eight. Um one of eight abilities and one of them is that you throw your weapon and it'll come back to you uh at first when i first did this uh playthrough like the recorder playthrough i was talking about how i didn't want to get it just yet because it doesn't go at the full range that it could which is the same reason why i didn't necessarily like throwing my weapon uh in D, &D either because because um Yeah, a second. I didn't blow up or something. I thought it would have. Um, because it didn't have the full range that it could have had.
Not what I was aiming for, not upset. Oh, that's even better. I thought it was going to try and fly at us before it blew up, but that's fine too. to where that puzzle area was because we have everything we need now to make our way out we just have to get to the place where we're supposed to make our way out basically and there's a few of these ropes around that we can pull down so we can actually swing across stuff i don't know why cal was unable to do these ones before though since it is just grabbing something and pulling it to where it's supposed to be Definitely won't. Your own little bots are actually blowing you up too, so. Okay, stood there, stood there, got hit. That's all on me. You're just not good enough to kill me. Although he did was giving me a run like in, in a harder difficulty that specific purge trooper right there Was definitely fucking me up And I don't know why I just sat there and got an explosion in my face mm, I don't know why I just sat there and let that thing get close and deal that damage to me Don't like the phrasing uh, word. Don't like what the phrasing was leading a second ago Had to change that up But having a good time, BD. Damn, what is out there? Where did this dude come from? Because I know that thing wasn't in there before. I guess we still got that force thing though. You're the wrong person, my guy. Your teammate is getting taken out by whatever this thing is. I'm the coward, but you just watched me kill the damn that was fucking you and your teammate up. So I'm gonna need you to calm down on your words and choose them a little bit better, bud. Let's get back up here. And this doesn't feel right, so I'm gonna leave. I think I gotta be across the way, actually. Actually, I'm gonna get back up to where we were before. And these uh melee fighters keep trying to camp corners real quick too so i'm gonna need them to calm down on that too this is not working i don't think they've hit me yet and this is when they this is the area where they started doing that camp a corner melee characters but they haven't done damage to me yet so it's not really working out now we have another skill point so we'll go ahead and spend that if we can i was kind of send groups of enemies flying and knock back knock down large enemies i want that one next actually because that's what i keep trying to do thinking that's what the last force push upgrade did we'll see if i actually remember to get that one next i'm gonna find something that i want better before i get to actually buying that one i actually gotta end this episode soon i'm gonna just let them fight that out go up here Yeah, see, that's why I didn't want to get it at first, because it it's such a short range when you first get it. 
but for now that's gonna be all for this video so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one